Hi Zoya, it's Mrs. Oliver again. How are you doing today? Um, I heard that mom told me that you watched my sight video um, word game the other day and you got to practice doing sight words with me. I hope you had fun doing that. I know I had fun making it. So um, Today I wanted to do another writing lesson with you. Um, I hope you were able to do the fix it up sentences the other day and practice fixing up sentences and putting in punctuation marks and checking for capital letters. Um, today I wanted to share with you a story that I wrote um, and I'm going to show it to you now and hopefully you'll be able to make a story of your own. So I'm going to show you the story that I wrote. So here we go. Here's the first one. Can you see it? And now, don't make fun of Mrs. Oliver's drawings, because I know that Zoya, I know that you're a much better drawer than Mrs. Oliver is. So, let's start by reading my story. My first page, you ready? It was a sunny day today. Emma and I played outside. So, remember when you're writing stories. We try to take three pieces of paper, and we try to write a beginning, a middle, and an end. So this is the beginning of my story. What do you notice about the beginning of my story? Take a look again. It was a sunny day today. Emma and I played outside. So if you noticed, the beginning of my story, I told us what we were doing and who I was with. So it was me and my daughter Emma, and where were we? We were outside. So I said who I was with and what I was doing. And if you notice my picture, it matches what I wrote, right? So here's Emma and there's me and it's sunny and we're outside. So that's the first thing that happened in my story. Let's read to find out what do you think happened next. You ready? In the middle of my story. We played with chalk and bubbles. So I drew a picture again to match my story. There's Emma blowing bub bubbles and there's Mrs. Oliver playing hopscotch with the chalk. And I wrote in the middle of my story something that we did outside. So now that it's the middle of my story, I didn't start talking about something different. I didn't start talking about something that we did um, inside or I didn't start talking about something that we did on a different day or at a different place I made sure that my story kept with what I started with on the first page I said we were outside so in the middle of my story I wanted to tell you what I was doing when I was outside so there's my sentence there for the middle of my story now let's see how my story ends We laughed and smiled. It was a fun day. And there we are again outside with big smiles on our faces because we had a really fun day. So the end of my story, I told us how we felt. And I said that we laughed and we smiled and that we had a fun day. So we had a good time. So the end of my story was the same thing. I made sure to keep with what I was talking about. I still talked about what we did outside and how that made me feel. So I didn't start talking about something new. So I want you to try, when you have time, to write me a story that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it can be about anything you want, but try to make sure that your pictures match your words and that it's about one event. So my event was going outside and what I did, who I was with, and how I felt. So I want you to try, when you have time, Write me a story about something that you want to share with me and I would love for you to either read it to me or you can take a picture or a video, whatever you want when you have time. I would love to see that. And make sure to check for capital letters and punctuation like I did in mine. You notice all my, my sentences started with a capital letter, I had spaces, and then I had punctuation marks. Okay? I hope you liked my story and you didn't laugh at my pictures too much. And I hope you have time to write me a story soon. Okay, thanks Zoya, I'll talk to you soon, miss you, bye.